Hello and welcome back to Let's Play A New Beginning Final Cut with me, Demonox. When we last left off, we were, well, we're Faye now. And we just had a conversation with Saudi saying the, that the thing will not work. I say thing, that's where we are. Yes, that's where we are. And now we're going to investigate and find out why it didn't work. I mean, seriously, that's... You know, we knocked the guy open. And ooh, hello. That door's open. A vat's in there. Hello, my pretty. What's in the door? Hey, it's an office. Uh, look at. Looks like it wasn't needed anymore. I'll take it then. Come to me. This paper is brand new. Why did someone throw it away? Read? That's an instruction for the radio operator. A certain Irik Harkonnen is to report to the storage depot immediately. Oh, I hope we got a pen as well. Take pen. Pens are good. Facts. Read facts. The different stations on the oil rig are assigned different keys. Number one, lab. Number two, archive, oh. and so on. Cool. Uh, don't think there's anything else we're getting here. But our transmission did cut, so uh, I'm gonna go up to the helipad because uh, just to make certain that they ha you know haven't cut the transmission again. Oh no! The antenna cable got loose. Oh, so that then. Connect cable to antennae. Ah, fresh sea air. Is it it's wonderful? wonderful? You get used to it after a while. Let me tell you, enjoy it while you still can. As of tomorrow, ah, cool. you'll be a long way from here, a made man in Rio or New York. Personally, I prefer Casablanca. I don't care, as long as I get away from here. I'm sick of risking my life for this Svensson every day. Last week, a machine almost ripped my arm out. <laughs> really? These wow. things happen. But today, you are going to hurt the oil ring right back. Okay, uh, one more time, so you won't forget. The LG must be completely destroyed or my client won't pay. Do you really want to talk about this out here in the open? No, of course not. I just have to get rid of something first. Hello. Uh, come back here. That was oh my important. Oh god, what are these people planning? Well, he dropped the paper. I, he dropped the paper. I'm, I'm going to go down. Where'd, where'd the paper go? Uh, flutter, flutter, down, flutter, that way. So the only thing I can think of is it went... This way. I don't think it's in the kitchen. That would be impressive if it landed in the kitchen. Paper! Come to me. Hey! It's always the same. I can't be that clumsy. Nope, I think fate's having a go at you. But I know what that is, that's downstairs. We go downstairs, back in my room. Because that's out the window. Yikes! It's a used tissue. Kellerman and partner, attorneys. You are supposed to rest. Instead, you're climbing up and down the facade. Once and for all, I'm fine. Bah. Stubborn as a mule. Excuse yep. me? I said do whatever you want. Take a look around the oil rig. Climb pipes. Jump out of windows. But don't come running to me if you start getting worse. Not a chance. That's settled then. Excellent. Yeah, but ugh. Yuck. A used hanky made of cloth. I hope I won't need it. Then I could throw it away again soon. Yeah, but that was, um, why, he thought, why was it so important that he went outside to do it? Not have been. Uh, something's not right. Something is not right. I mean, seriously, he wants to go... 
Hmm. But yeah, why why was it being so important that he had to throw that out the window? Why not in a, just put it in a trash bin? Regardless, we got the thing. So that's a thing like that. But yeah. Well, yes. Okay, so somebody is planning to do something bad to this place. Oh, are you still there? We can't do anything else in this damn section. Oh, oh, it's on now. Excellent. Off to the work sec. Off to the next section. Oh, I haven't been anywhere but the living quarters. If I want to find the saboteur, I have to get to the workers area. I hope there are signs showing the way. Me too. Or we're gonna get lost. So we're off to the engine room. Well, this makes point. If you want to sabotage anyway, you sabotage the engine room. Hello. Hello, Walda. Let's talk to you. You might be important. You might not. I don't care. I'm gonna go talk to you. The presentation takes place in the residential area. Excuse me? The presentation. You are one of the investors, aren't you? Um, no. The presentation has been over for a while now. Really? Man, time flies. What are you doing? What are you doing? Working. And what? I'm a welder. I weld. Okay. Were you near the heliport earlier? God, damnation. What's wrong? For a brief moment I had the urge to work, but now it's gone. Because of you. Are you unsettled by my questions? No, not at all. I've been nope. here the whole day. The foreman can confirm that. He made the work schedule. I don't see you welding anything. Okay. Yeah. Not right now. But that doesn't mean I'm lazy. Quite the opposite. I'm a very uh -huh. eager worker. Passion is the fertile soil on which good work grows. Uh, right now, I'm just not very passionate. Why aren't you passionate about your work right now? It's got a lot to do with atmosphere and hmm. productive work environment. If I want to create something, I must be filled with inspiration. I have yeah. to feel the okay. energies around me, the passion of creation. And you don't feel that right now? No. Right now, I'm feeling something completely different. I feel melancholy. Streets on a rainy day, broken hearts and neon light. Oh, dear. That doesn't sound positive. No, that's not so bad, bad. That's very bad. That's that's bad. When do you think you'll be passionate about work again? When do you think you'll be passionate about work yeah. again? What do you mean, when? It's not something you can plan for or force. You have to wait until the environment feels right, the climate, the creative spirit in the room. And where okay. does that feeling come from? If I knew that, I wouldn't just be standing around. Okay. Have fun. Yeah, all in good time. Ah, right, well. Uh, what else is there? A music player? Got a f filter cap chamber? Got two sets of doors. Something is swimming in that chamber, but I can't make out what it is. A fish. That's where this strange music is coming from. Did people listen to that in the 20th century? Wrong. This yeah. music is timeless. Yeah, it's very dreary. Uh, I came from this way, you know. Let's go to the top way. Regardless, it's not being very, um... Not very really working, is it? Hello? Ooh, two boxes. Open two boxes. Anything inside this box? Yay! It's empty! Looks like the machines will have to make it through the day without me. Cool. Can I bust the locker open? Locked. Number two. Locked. Number three. Locked. Number four. Locked. Oh, I thought you were uh, angrier. Hey. Good day. Hello. I have an important question about a worker. Ask. Someone's planned an attack on the oil rig. Yeah. And one of the workers is going to carry it out. How do you know that? I was at the heliport when I overheard a conversation. Some bald guy gave instructions to a worker. Hmm. Hmm? Just a sec. I'm thinking. Did the worker wear an eye patch? 
I, I don't know. That's the problem. I don't know. Aha! Uh -huh. You just made up that story. You want me to evacuate the oil rig so you can take over here. No! That's not true! <laughs> I'm just kidding. You have to bring me evidence before I believe your story. Okay. Why doesn't the man in the machine room work? Don't let appearances mislead you. Magnus is one of my best welders. He's just a bit difficult when he has to work alone. But his colleague had the night shift today, so he's packed up already and has gone to the cafeteria to grab a bite to eat. Oh. The welder doesn't like to work alone? Sometimes he is a mystery to me, too. Why don't you go to the cafeteria and ask his colleague hmm. about it? Maybe he knows the secret. Maybe. Please, I have to know where the suspect is working right now. You don't even know who your suspect is. Bring me evidence first, then I'm okay, going so to we'll get evidence. I'll be back later. Don't worry, I'll be right here. You don't fit the general size and shape of the guy in the, the guy who was downstairs. Hey, keep away. Looks like this area is off limits. As long as he's watching me, I'll never get in there. Right, you need to go. Bye bye. We were the only guy I could talk to in there, so. He said his mate's in the cafeteria. As a worker. Okay, talk to you. Hello. Hi. Hmm. I'm looking for a bald man. Do you know him? He one of the suits? I think so. Don't want anything to do with them types. So you don't have anything to do with the investors? You haven't even talked to them? About what? Weather? Bad enough they decide who works and who don't. I'm not gonna play happy people oh, and suck up to them. They better just give us the money and bug it off. Okay. That's all I wanted to know. Do yeah. you know the welder in the engine room? Magnus? Sure, he's a wimp, but works like a robot. Really? Yeah, I know. The others are complaining all the time, too. Can't work with Magnus. Damned freak. Me? I just say you only gotta know how to take him. You can put dynamite in his ears. He wouldn't have care. And why's that? I know how to party. <laughs> what? How, do you... how do you get the welder to work? I party. That stops him brooding. Are you telling male jokes? That, too. And me locker is full of party hits. There's some for everyone, even mm. Magnus. <laughs> cool. Could you give me the key to your locker? Lady, me locker's no one's business but mine. You can beg as you want. You'll not get it. Don't you have to work today? Been working all night. Enough's enough. Just hoping that no Einstein will get no idea to make me do his shift. He won't see tomorrow. I tell you. When I get mad, I'm mad like hell. Is that a threat? No, it's a law of physics. Okay, so I want the key from him Bye. so I can get the key, so I can get the uh, party hits. Hey, cook. What is cooking today? What do you want? Bye. Bye. Yeah. <coughs> Bye. You are psychotic. Though he did kill your microwave, so I'm happy. Hello. Hey, get away from my jacket. Okay, that's him. Sorry. I can make out a key ring in the pocket. Someone sewed on a piece of cloth with a name on it. Apollo Langlo. Okay. Um. Wait. Oh, well, we, we've used the... Oh, making go to work. Radio operator, he said the guy. A pen. I'll strike out Ira Harkonnen and put in the name Apollo Langlo instead. I wonder if that will work. Oh, yeah. I just have to put the facsimile in the machine, hit the key for the radio room, Beep. and that's it. Yep.
Apollo Langlo, please proceed to the storage depot. I repeat, Apollo Langlo, <laughs> please mean. proceed to the storage depot what? immediately. <laughs> The different stations on the order number one. <laughs> I don't think he's a happy chap anymore. There's only these keys in there. I better take them. Thank you. Well, we know where he is. He went to storage depot. Because we made him. And they're molting his jacket. His stupidity. Nope. Alright, so what uh, lock is this? Another key for non electric locks. Much more modern than the key cards in the future. Uh, try that one. Doesn't fit. Number two. Well, that's number three. Doesn't fit. Number four. Doesn't fit. Which means the lock one back. Default. It's for everybody, even my gloomy, gloomy fellow down here. I'm gonna use a mini video on the music player player because we all know that will make him feel party time. Come on, let's party, 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 party time. If it puts some weird song on, I'm gonna mute it quite quickly. Will that help you to work? Put the tape in the ghetto blaster, will you? Eureka! That's it! Yeah! Nice. I can't open it as long as water is running through it. Turn valve. Open filter chamber. Scrap of cloth. This looks like the sleeve of a worker's uniform. There are two initials, M and S. Ah, uh, we'll pull. Oh, okay. And here I thought of, instead, all I do is struggle with dead machines all day. Well, we got clues. I want the worker that belongs to this suit, M and S. I found this ripped off sleeve. I see. So? The suspect said something about an accident. A machine almost ripped his arm out. Go on. Isn't that enough? Someone wants to destroy the algae research and you sit on your arse and twiddle your thumbs. Ah, that's how the land lies. But, but I was talking about it the whole time. You never mentioned the algae research. That casts a whole new light on the case. Elementary, my dear. An evil energy mogul got scared. Svensson's uh -huh. Miracle Algae pushes onto the market and threatens to put all the power plants in the world out of business. So what's he yeah, going to do about it? He plants a bomb to destroy the whole research on the algae. Well, finally. Now you understand. Oh, come on. You're not serious, are you? The algae may be nice, but it's miles away from convincing anyone. It did convince the investors. Because Ben Svensson manipulated the presentation. He did what? Oh, so... Uh, I think we've gone... Okay, we've got the algae farm. Here we are now, I think we're going to the algae farm with Ben Svensson. Now I'm directly above the Delta Algae Station. Let's see how this accident happened. Okay, how do I actually make that thing work? Pull, press the lever, push the button! Pull the lever! I got to push the button first. Hmm. Doesn't move an inch. Okay, push the button. There's only two things I have to do in this room. I got that and that. Whoa! Holy Christ! That is no accident, that's something exploding on the inside. Okay, yeah, I can feel that from here. That is something exploding on the inside. The filter is made of strong cork. Okay. 
It smells of a lot of things. If I want to detect anything specific, I should get a sample that's, to the lab. That's not something going like, oh dear, we have... The whole filter is much too big to transport. Knife. Knife to the filter. I'll cut some cork out of the filter. <laughs> that thing ruptured from the inside. I think I can make out something at the other end of the pipe, but it's too far away for me to reach. Hmm. If it's going through that way, then it'll hit the filter. I think we got everything we need from in here. I'm not seeing the how this thing that algae should have blown up like that. I mean that thing went with a right kapow. That is a strong explosion. That is like, yo, I'm going to blow up and take out half the facility explosion. Now I don't I I don't think that was an accident to begin with. I think somebody purposely set the thing off. So, but when we come back, folks, we shall go and get ex inspect our bit of cork and find out what happened. Because I think something was stuffed into the algae tank, got to, and was specifically designed to make the thing explode when they were doing the next test. Somebody seriously does not want that algae working, and the delta strain was the best algae going, but it's been removed from history. Yeah. But anyway, that's all for next time. So until then, until then, I'll catch you all later. See ya.